In this video, I will compare the where clause and having clause in SQL. Both where clause and having clause is basically for filtering the query. Even though we have a where clause, then why do we have a having clause? So the difference between where and having is like where clause we will be using for individual records, whereas having clause is used for aggregation, record, aggregated records. So let me first query the table select. Let me query the table and frame two questions, one for having clause and the other for where clause. Now, from this employee table, what we have to find is, we have to find all the employees who are getting a salary greater than 6000. For that, we will be using the where clause because in that case, we have to compare each record from the salary column with the specific condition. Let me write the query for the same. This is for where clause. Select and even before that let me write the question so that even later we can go back to the question. So find the employees who receive a salary greater than 6000 so since it's we have to get the employees I will be using the employee name column employee underscore name comma for easy easy reference let me take the salary column also now and this is from the table employee and now we are giving the condition using where clause where salary is greater than 6000 so this condition salary greater than 6000 will get compared with each row instances and depending upon that only the result will be available so now let me run this query and let us see what the result is see now we have got the result where we have employees who are getting salary greater than 6000 this is why we use where clause to compare each row value with the specific condition and filter out the results now let me take the having clause and explain why we are using a having clause let me run the query again for employee table and frame a question for having clause the question will be find departments which provide a total salary greater than 25,000 so this is the question so now what we have to do is the first thing what we have to do is we have to find the total salary only then we have to put this condition let me write the query to find the total salary first select for each department so I am using department name comma and I am using the aggregate function sum and using the salary column I am giving a name as total salary now I am giving the table name from employee table next is using the group by clause because we are using an aggregate function within the query and grouping is done with respect to department name now let us run this query and see what is the total salary for each department now as you can see we have a total salary total salary column which shows the total salary uh, which is offered by each department to its employees now let me use the having clause to filter out this aggregated data so when we have to filter out an aggregated data during that time we'll be using the having clause now only by adding a having clause I can having
salary greater than 25,000. So what I was telling was, see, by only adding this having by close, I can filter out the departments which are not providing the employees a total salary of salary which is not greater than 25,000. Now let me run this query and see the result what uh, what will be the result ideally the result should be we should only get hr and it because only these two values are greater than 25000 let us run this and see if we are getting the result see now we are getting the result as uh, hr salary is 27500 which is greater than 25000 and it salary which is 73000 which is also greater than 25000 uh, this is where we use having clause. Now, let me show how to implement the same thing using where clause. For that, we will be using one more concept that is called subquery. Using subquery and where clause. copy this because that query is the sub query in which I wrote the sub query this is the sub query and I am going to put it inside a bracket because that itself is the table now what I am going to do is select department name comma here I have named it as total salary so I can take total salary here total salary from from this table because this is the input table that we are using here now I am giving an alias for the table also otherwise we will get error now after this we will put the where condition w where total salary is greater than 25,000 now let me run this query and see if we are getting the same result or not see after running this query also we will get the same result so this is how we implement filtering using having at where clause thank you